12th chapter, verse 10. But I guess I need to turn over. I can quote it, but I need to turn over there. Amen. And we're going to work both of them together. Amen. James, the, the fourth chapter. Amen. And Judges, the 16th chapter. And around about the 19th verse is where I will be beginning in Judges. I want to just read James first. Amen. The fourth chapter. This is the New Testament. Amen. And you know, I don't say that lightly either because some people just don't know. And the people that don't know, I love them. That's right. And I think because they can learn some things. James, the fourth chapter, verse 10. Everybody there? Yeah. It said, humble yourself. Humble who? Yourself. Oh, my God. You never want to ask God to humble you. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And what? He shall lift you up. Wow, and he shall lift you up. Yes. Has that anybody ever been in here that ever needed to lift up? Yes. Anybody in here ever need to be picked up? Yes. Amen. The contrast to humility is Samson. Uh -huh. How many know he was, he was the most decorated one in the Bible? Amen. Samson was this he man we thought. But how many realize that Samson was about 140 pounds soaking wet? He wasn't a Hercules, amen. He was a little bit skinny something. And because he was so frail and, and looked so skinny and, you know what I mean, they thought, where in the world did he get his strength from? This man is short. This man is small. He's little, but he's able to do extraordinary things. How many realize somebody said it earlier, God is not worried about the outward exterior, but he's worried about what's in your heart. How many realize that when God blesses you, and we got to recognize it's not our own strength, but it is God. Right. Listen to the word judges, amen. Let's go to the 16th chapter. Verse uh, 19 says, and she made him sleep upon her knees. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. And she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. Yeah. And she began to afflict him, and he spent with from him. She said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. He woke up out of his sleep and said, I will go out, oh my God, as often other times before, and shake myself. And he was not that the Lord was deployed from him. God. Hallelujah. I want to use for a discourse, amen, and I will be using another scripture. Let's, as a matter of fact, let's jump down to the 28th verse. The 28th verse is what? And Samson called unto the Lord and said, Oh Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once. Oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistine for my two eyes. Catch that neighbor by the hand since you are acquainted with one another. And tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. What do I do, what do I when do? the shaker is gone? The shaker See, there's a whole thing. If I can help now. See, there's a whole lot of shaking going on in church. People know how to have church. They know how to raise their hand. They know how to speak in some kind of tongue. They know how to dance. Oh, my God. They know how to shout. They know how to carry the service on. Oh, I mean, no people, some people of us was raised in church. Oh, we know how everybody in church shout. Oh, my God. Here, we know how to testify. We professional testifiers. But how many realize, though, sometimes we're operating without power? How many realize that Samson, amen, as we in our discourse, understand that he was the opposite of humility? The Lord told us what? Humble yourself yeah. in the sight of the Lord and I will lift you up. Yeah. And how many realize when God lifts you up, no man can tear you down. Yeah. But how many know when you lift yourself up, yeah. then you set yourself up to be pulled down. Yeah. The exalted shall be brought low. Mm -hmm. Samson was a mess. Oh, I know some of you love Samson. But you need to study the life of, of Samson. Yeah. Samson did everything he was big and bad enough to do. It's something wrong with me and they know they got it going on. Yeah, all right. um, when a brother think he got it going on, it ain't nothing going to happen till I get there. Yeah, How many realize sometimes God allows things to happen yeah. to bring us back down? Yeah. How many know we're not self-reliant? We can't do nothing without God. Yeah. Are we just used to Y'all know the deep people in church, even. All right. Y'all don't help me. I'm going to play with this side over here. You know, deep people, every once in a while, they just like they got it. Just, he got the rules. <laughs> Don't get happy till they up. I'm preaching now by myself. And you know what? Today I don't even need no help. When the shaker is gone. Woo! How many realize a lot of people got the shake? They got the pretty dance. Woo! All I see on Facebook and YouTube. Just dancing. They're doing all kinds of some of that stuff I saw in the club back in the day. Some of those same moves I saw. Doing the 
said, George Jefferson and your family. Oh, I believe I preach on now. When the shaker is gone, look at the fifth verse. I hope you didn't close your Bible of the 16th chapter. How many know it was a trap? How many know the enemy is trying to get you? How many know the enemy knows your weakness? He, the, the devil knows what you like. Can I find some help in here? Some real hope. The devil's not going to send you no ugly package. Oh my God, he, he knows you didn't want an ugly package when you was in the world. The devil going to send you exactly what you like. Six foot so and so, a light skin, a good car. I thought the brother would say, yeah, especially those short brothers. Got no help up in here today. But how many know that set him up? Say trap. The devil's out to God. I ain't nobody say nothing. When you say trapped. See, the devil know that Samson loved many women. Samson was a Nazarite, meaning that he had seven locks. His hair was to grow. He never should cut his hair. A razor should never be upon his head. They was wondering because time passed that Samson would kill things. He took the jawbone of the donkey and slew many men. He done all these things, but you have to understand he was 140 pounds soaking wet. He was a little skinny guy. How in the world did he have such power to kill so many Philistines? How uh, many realize that the devil got together? We said, we got to get this war. We got to find out the source of his strength. See, people lying on you and talking about you, but you still praising God. I thought I had some help that time. But look at the fifth And the Lord of the Philistine came unto her and said unto her, Entice him. Oh, how many of they sent a woman to get him? They ain't got no help in here. How many know some brothers, women are weaknesses to us? How does time one thing? I'm not talking about lusting, but they were made for us. Oh, my God, here. How many know God took man and put, put him to sleep? Took the woman out of his side and made woman. How many know everything about her attracts us? The way she her carries move. See, something is wrong with you when you leave the lust of a woman and burn after another rusty man. Thank you, I got some help over here. But how many know they said entice him? Yeah. How many know they designed the woman Delilah? Yeah. Woo! How many know you got to watch out for Delilahs? Yeah. You got to watch out for how many of some of us are set up. Y'all yeah. call them gold diggers now, and y'all call them all kind of things. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to preach it all right. That's what they call them now. This is now term. You know what I mean? I gotta have a man to pay my bill, my tub, and all my bill. You know the thing about it is, get your own job. Be independent of your own self. That's when you are in trouble right now. I'm gonna preach it all right in here. Ain't nobody got to shout today. We got to get this. Come on, holler, trapped. You got to watch out for the setup. How many of the devil has to design Delilah to come after Samson? Because what? He just wouldn't stop doing wrong. How many know that's going to be a judgment on all of us? Yeah. We can't continue to do the same thing the same way and always in the prayer line. Can't be nobody else in the prayer line. You always in there because you won't stop talking. You gossip, you listen to all this mess, you pull a junk, then you come to church and want somebody to pull some all on you and deliver you, and Monday in the beauty shop, you're talking again. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, trap. You got to watch out for the devil's traps. And he said, entice him and see where he is his great strength lies. By what means we may prevail against him. And that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give thee, every one of us, 1,100 pieces of silver. How many know they told the law that we're going to pay him? If you can get his strength. But how many realize that you got to watch? Woo, my God here. He kept on strong men. Can I talk to the brothers now? Hey, I don't help it here. Strong men intend to go beyond boundaries. How I many of God give us parameters? You got to do this way to be saved. You got to live. Wait, how I many of you know when the speed was 70 miles an hour? We drove 75 and 80. Now extended to 75. Now we drive 80 and 85. How I many strong men have a tendency to go way younger? You know, we got some children that always stretch the limit. They push you to that very limit for you to go crazy. Ooh, I'm talking to the brothers today. I got some help behind me. But he always tightened this. But how many of strong men go to young, be boundaries? How many of you can't put a man in a box? We just pushed the young girl. Can I do 
and people are like, yeah. We, we, we pushed the envelope. Don't we, we, we tried things out and we know we said we can't run through the tree. You know, we think we were young and got whole. We'll try to pick up stuff, run through stuff, always in something. Because why? You can't contain us. Samson life became a lesson of tragedy, of self will. We got too many people trying to do it ourselves in church. I mean, we can't do none of this without God. Uh, I feel like Brother Kimbrough in here today. You need to shake somebody, turn them or flip them two or three times and tell them, wake up! Yeah. How many know his marriage in chapter 14 was a clear violation of the law? Yeah. Samson broke every law, Sherman. Every law, Samson broke. Yeah. When I begin to study Samson, I said, Samson was a mess. Yeah. Yes, he was. All right. And kept on every once in a while, he jumped up and showed how strong he is. And, Kill a bunch of folk and go back and do what he want to do. Yeah. How I many know we got too many church people, I say saints, okay. too many church people that are doing what they want to do? The second violation Samson did, oh my God, a carrot he ate honey from a dead carcass yeah. and then brought it to his parents and they ate it not knowing. Oh, yeah. You know, they told, him, they told him don't touch nothing dead. Yeah. The thing was dead, he got the honey from it. Then came back and fed it to his mom and dad. And kept on being Samson. Kept on being worshiping him. Sleeping with whoever he wanted to sleep with. Doing whatever he wanted to do. Nothing could stop him because why? He was young and strong. How many of you been young, strong, and dumb? I thought the brothers going to help me. I got some brothers going to help me. Woo, I'm checking the meaning now. Young, great, strong, and dumb. When you do what you want to do, keep up with that head. Boom. I'm going to get it one more time. I'm going to get it. About to kill yourself. All right. Young, strong, and dumb. Woo. And one day, uh, let's ride here now, Shot. Brother Shot, let's ride him out now. I think I got to where I want him. In the middle of this tax, we find that Samson had a habit of doing wrong. He had a habit of breaking God's law. Every part of his, his life was doing the thing that God told him not to do. How many realize he played with Delilah? How many know Delilah didn't trick him? Really, she didn't trick him. No, she didn't because why? He knew what she was up to. But how many know the old mama used to say, baby, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. How I many know you got to watch playing with a woman in motion? Yeah, right. you, you, ain't gonna find you got to watch laying down with the liner. Yeah. You got to watch how you kiss the liner. Yeah. You got to watch how you caress the liner. Yeah. How I many know the liner feelings got involved? Yeah. She said, baby, show me where your strength is. Yeah. How I many know he told her a lie? Yeah. He got it in the used to lying. I said, used to lying brothers up in here. Yeah. Yeah. 